Janine. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Jay's Healthy Lifestyle Favorites. This is for April. For those of you who don't know, every month I do a video highlighting some of my favorite products for the month. I do it in two different categories. One is for healthy lifestyle food type items and I do another one for beauty, fashion, and home. So that will be coming later this week. So stay tuned I for that. I try a lot of products in preparation for this video every month. And best believe it's hard to make my list. It truly is only my favorite things, things I'm, I'm using, that I'm buying, that I'm loving, that I share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with my number one favorite thing so far in the month. Like many of you, I struggle with getting my water intake in but I'd love a new water cup. I don't know why it always motivates me to like drink more water. It's kind of silly, but it is what it is. But look how cute this is. I'm really weird too. I like to make sure my water has to be cold and there has to be ice in there and the ice has to not be melted. Um, this is 50 ounces. So, but it's got this nice thick handle. It comes in all different colors. It's insulated and it's got, you can drink from the spout or you can use the straw. The straw came with it and I love that it matches. Um, so basically if I drink two of these a day, that's a hundred ounces of water. It's so much easier to get your water intake in when you love your water cup. And I like to just switch it up every once in a while, but I do really, really love this one. I like that like matte satin finish. I love that it keeps my ice frozen and I like the big handle. The only downfall is if you are out and about, this is difficult to have in your car because obviously it does not fit in a cup holder, but it does make it a lot easier for me to hit my water intake because um, I find that in my smaller water cups, when they're empty and I'm busy, I don't take the time to get up and refill it. So I end up kind of like missing the mark on my water sometimes. So I really, really love this one. If I haven't already mentioned it, everything I talk about, I will be linking down below in the description box in the order that I talked about it. So don't worry, this little guy here is linked down below. All right, next up are a couple of supplement related items. Okay, so this first one, I've actually been taking this for quite a while and I'm not sure that I've included it in one of these videos yet, but I definitely should. This is kind of like my staple go-to nighttime supplement to help me sleep. It's got the perfect combination of all of the things that relax you and put you into a deep restful sleep. So some of the things are like L-theanine, which is known to like relieve anxiety, um, valerian root, tryptophan. Have you heard of tryptophan guys? Tryptophan is that chemical that is in Turkey that makes you go into like food coma after Thanksgiving. It's also got melatonin in it and I believe CLA as well. So it is an excellent way to like relax, calm your brain, um, get rid of any anxiety and then help you get into that deep restful sleep. I do notice that when I don't take it, I have a harder time falling and staying asleep. So I definitely like this. It's from INNO Supps or Inno Supps. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I will link it down below because this is definitely um, really helpful in making sure that I get that seven to eight hours of sleep a night that I so desperately All right, need. Next up, same company. Inno Supps, but this is Billion Pro. This is what I have been taking um, every morning as my probiotic. It's a pro. Mm, really should wear my glasses for these videos. It's a pro and prebiotic. And it also contains digestive enzymes. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to take care of your digestive health. If you feel like you're suffering from any kind of bloating or you feel your, your stomach doesn't feel good after you eat, or you're not regular, then you really should invest in a prebiotic, probiotic, digestive enzymes, so, so important. I take this two every morning, and I really have felt so much better just digestively, and I have not dealt with any bloating or any issues at all, and I really think it's important to have something like this as part of your routine. I also, in addition to that, take digestive enzymes with every meal. Like I don't mess around with digestion because one of the biggest, um, most common things that people suffer from that they think is weight gain is oftentimes digestive issues and not properly digesting your food, bloating, gas, discomfort. They associate that with weight gain and oftentimes that's a slippery slope. If you feel like you're gaining weight and you feel like whatever program you're doing isn't working, you lose your motivation and then you completely slip up when it wasn't necessarily weight gain to begin with. A lot of times it is um, digestion and things like that. So this is a really good one I like. 
But regardless, find one that you like and take one. Make sure that you're taking care of your digestive health. It's so important. We're on the subject of supplements. This is my new supplement container. And if you watched one of my vlogs earlier uh, this week, I showed this container off. I love it. It's so convenient. I like that it's got three different times. So my probiotic goes there in the morning. And then my other two sets of supplements that I take go in the, the other two sections. And I love that if you travel, you can pop a couple of days out and you don't have to take this whole thing. Since I got this, I have been so much better about not missing my supplements and getting them all in. And so I've been able to really um, get consistent with um, you know my, my wellness supplements that I take. So this is an awesome little addition to your healthy lifestyle. Right, last up for supplements is another one that I've talked about, I think in another video, but this is Naked Creatine. This is something that I've been taking for about a month now and probably about five weeks. And after about the third week, I really did start to feel a difference in the gym. What creatine does is just pulls water into your muscle. It really helps you, um, you know, push past those like last three reps that those reps that really are going to make a difference in terms of your progress in the gym. Um, and it does that by pulling water into the muscle. It's amazing. I didn't do any preloading of, of this. A lot of times people will do like a preloading phase. Um, I just take five, five milligrams a day in water. You can take it any time of day. And um, after about three weeks or so, you start to notice a difference in the gym in terms of like your pump and your muscles just feel harder. And um, you're able to just push a little harder. And sometimes it's just that little edge that you need in the gym that's really gonna create that stimulus that tells your body that your muscles need to grow because that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to grow these baby muscles. All right, guys, now for some food items. Now, when I share food items, it's mainly not necessarily going to be always the healthiest thing, but it's always going to be macro friendly and things that you can easily fit into your macros that are delicious, that are going to help you stay on track because, you know, it's nice to have some treats sometimes. So the next things I'm going to show you are some really macro friendly treats that you can easily incorporate into your healthy lifestyle. So these are popcorners and they have tons of different flavors. My favorite is kettle corn, but I'm out of it right now. But here's the sea salt. The sea salt's actually excellent with like salsa and the kettle corn one is the perfect if you're creating that, if you're craving that sweet versus salt. But you guys, the macros, one serving is 110 calories, two and a half grams of fat, 20 carbs, two grams of protein. Super macro friendly. And one serving is like a paper plate size filled. It, one serving is actually a really generous serving. So I love, I love these. I love these with salsa for like a very low cal snack. Um, yeah. So try popcorners. You're going to love them. I got them at Sprouts. You can get them at like most all grocery stores. And like I said, it's just a, you know, sometimes you just crave that crunch and this is a great way to get that crunch for very little amount of calories. Next up is probably my top favorite so far for the month of April. And it is these nut butters from American Dream Nut Butter. These nut butters hit it out of the park for me. They're macro friendly, so delicious. And like, I cannot believe I've lived this long without knowing about these nut butters. My daughter who recently launched, launched her own YouTube channel, I'm going to pop it up here. She did a full review on her channel of these nut butters. So if you wanna get a closer look, head over there. But let me tell you guys, you will not be disappointed. I have been having a tablespoon in my um, in my oatmeal and then also a tablespoon in my yogurt and, it, yogurt and it's been like a game changer. My favorite so far is Snap Crackle Crunch. They change their flavors all the time though, so they may not have these particular flavors available, but they're famous for add-ins. So it's not just a nut butter. They have cookie crumbs or sprinkles or in this one tastes like a Rice Krispie treat. It has actual like Rice Krispies in it. Just so delicious. Um, like I said, if you want more information on these, head over to my daughter's YouTube channel and check out her review, but I will also link them down below and I highly, highly recommend them. All right, you guys, last up in today's video are these Bubby's Cookie Dough Bites in birthday cake flavor. Oh my gosh, you guys, like this is like the best discovery ever. They are so delicious. It is such a nice treat. And I love things that are pre-portioned out because it's very easy to limit yourself when something is pre-portioned. This is actually a new box, but I'm gonna open it up because I wanna show it to you guys. 
it's basically like it's frozen so it's like an ice cream treat it's almost like have you ever had a mochi ball from like a japanese restaurant how they have those mochi balls it's very similar to like mochi a mochi ball and that's what it tastes like the the dough on the outside of the ice cream the macros 130 calories six grams of fat 16 carbs one gram of protein very macro friendly it doesn't look very large but one is actually substantial. Like when you eat it, it feels very satisfying. And so it's very easy for me to just eat one. That's all I will ever um, eat in a day. But it's very easy to fit into my macros. I've had no issue um, getting it into the macros and it's totally worth it. It's worth every calorie, you know, I, how I feel about if something is uh, a treat, it has to be worth it. This is worth it. So these are something I've already restocked three times and my kids have been instructed that if they see the last one in there, they are not allowed to have it. Because if I go to have one and they're gone, I'm not going to be a very happy camper. All right, you guys, that is it for this month's favorites. Hopefully you will try some of these things and love them like I do. If you do, comment below and let me know. Um, let me know what you loved. Let me know what you tried. Let me know what you ordered. I want to know. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified so that you get notified when I post all of these videos. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one.